two quilt shops, a fabulous fabric line, and a little German heritage in Iowa. All on this episode of Rona the Riveter, the Traveling Quilter. Fairfax, Iowa, a suburb of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and an incredible hidden gem, especially if you like fabric, sausage, beer, strudel. Are you sensing a theme? Located in eastern Iowa is one of the most unique communities in all of the United States. Holding true to their German heritage, you'll find the Amana colonies. I've learned about the people here and the history of this colony is they tend to get confused with Amish, but they're not actually Amish. The people of the Amana communities are actually inspirationists. Inspirationism goes back to 18th century Germany. Religious persecution and economic trouble brought the inspirationists to America in 1844. Originally settling in New York State, the community eventually found 26,000 acres in eastern Iowa, where today they still freely practice their religion and celebrate their traditional German culture. The Amana colonies consists of seven individual villages, including South Amana, where you'll find the first of our two quilt shops, Fern Hill Gifts and Quilts. Hill originally began in 1987 in one room of the South Amana General Store and over time they've grown to where now they occupy all three floors of this huge building. We loved walking through Fern Hill and when you go make sure you plan at least a few hours. Yes, a few to make sure you have time to go through and see everything. Because this amazing store has, on the downstairs, is an entire antique floor where you'll find all kinds of antiques. On the main floor, you'll find all kinds of handmade gifts, including soaps and lotions, and you have clothes, antique quilts, there's a garden section, and there's this huge wall of gorgeous pottery. And then you make your way up to the third floor, which is the quilt shop. fabrics that is prominently featured in Fern Hill's quilt shop is frond. And the reason is because the owner of Fern Hill happens to be the mother of Frond Design Studios fabric designer, Stephanie Brandenburg. Let's say hello to Frond. Frond Design Studios and recently partnered with Northcott as well, our studio. So it's been a great journey. Started a Frond in 2012 and it has been quite an evolution. <laughs> Have you always been here in Iowa? Yes, I was. Um, it was really important to me to build our business in Iowa and create jobs in our state. Um, originally, I started designing for a company in Canada, in Montreal, and um, 
ironically, it was just kind of a funny coincidence, the art director happened to be located in Mount Vernon, Iowa, so I submitted canvases to her and then she submitted them to that company and I thought everybody designed fabric by hand, so it was a complete accident. Um, I thought everybody hand painted their designs, even the colorways, I still have the three paintings. Um, I did one of an iris and then I painted the colorways exactly, even measuring the canvas. I didn't know how to use the computer to do the different color, uh, like Adobe Creative Suite and all of that. I didn't know how to do that, so everything was done by hand originally, so it was really just an accident. Um, but then I developed a following because of it, and so I've always stayed true to those roots. Frond comes from uh, my mom's shop, it was called, is called, it's 38 years going, um, Fern Hill, and it's in South Amana, Iowa, and my father and my mom named it Fern Hill because it was after the poem by Dylan Thomas, so um, it was about being young on the farm and that, that innocent, wonderful feeling of, of youthful um, happiness, and so that's basically where that came from, and so I felt like when I left Fern Hill, ultimately started Frond and I just couldn't do it all so Frond was just a little fern <laughs> so that, and it has a fresh fun botanical you know quality to it so so we offer cotton 100% cotton fabrics and um, typically um, my designs are pretty large scale um, like the painting here is uh, like a panel a 24 by 44 inch panel is how that'll wind up being. And then you'll have companion fabrics to play with and create. So you can either build around the panel or you can cut it up and get these great color values. Um, so it's, it's just really fun and versatile. Typically what happens is one painting kind of leads into another. So um, I might have a concept for a line, like my first line I ever created was, uh, I called it the Fern Hill Iris Collection. And it was a Siberian iris that was named St. Stephen. My father's name was Stephen. He passed away in 1993. And so, you know, th it, that's always a part of what that is, you know, um, for me as a creator. The second line was Dandelion Days. That was because my kids were bringing me dandelion bouquets. They were little at the time and, and dandelions and lilacs and uh, violets, you know. And I just love the way that um, kids are so excited by dandelions, you know, and um, even my son one day came out of the house and he's just like, oh, look at all the flowers. And then, you know, my husband's like, oh, look at all the dandelions. Yeah. <laughs> so it's so funny, the different perspectives, but um, that's really how it, it happens for me. It's a kind of a concept. And then the neatest part though, I will say is like for dandelion days, I was thinking of my children, but when I, at the time I worked at Fern Hill, my mom's store, um, people would come up and say, oh my gosh, this reminds me of when I was little and I used to rub the dandelion on my chin or, you know, my, my grandkids give me these, you know, and so it's really neat how it connects with everybody in different ways. Yeah, so how does the painting get onto the fabric? So that is um, something that what we do is typically we take a, a painting to a fine art scanner and then we have that scanned. We send the scans then to our printer, our mill, and then they do all the screen separation. So fortunately, I don't have to do that because I probably would pull my hair out. <laughs> so, but I love screen print. That is another thing. Um, people ask me about the like the daydream line that I did with Northcott, the two sides of the flowers that you sew together. Um, that's because I love screen print. It's just my thing. Um, I I love digital too, but with me, the colors seem to to be a bit richer with my paints. So um, I have to do a 24 inch repeat in order to get all 18 screens, which it typically takes for my work. So that's, that's kind of why I stay in that, in that um, space. Yeah. Uh, from the very first time I saw you, I think it was at a Raleigh show in North Carolina. Yes. I remember. It was, I mean, I purchased a whole stack. Oops, I blew my budget on your fabric. <laughs> but, and I still haven't cut it up. I uh, yes, a started. lot of it's, people. It's my permanent collection. Yes. A lot of people say that they get it out every year and pet it and put it back in the tote. <laughs> that would be me. But I say it's just fabric. There's always more, so just play with it and have fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I completely agree.
Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss an episode. As always, my friend, happy quilting.